Konnichiwa ni Honda Mina, Collapse Dayo. Today I'm gonna be reacting to Jackpot, Grand Beatbox Battle 23 World League Tag Team Elimination. Yes, Ta uh, Jackpot was one of the tag teams that really scared us because we didn't know how much they would be prepared and if they were really really prepared it would be really hard uh, matchup. So um, yeah, let's react. Let's go. Let's begin. Hit him with the glitch. Next up, representing Korea. You have seen them before. I'm super excited to see what they bring to the table this year. Are you ready? Jimby. Make some noise for Jackpot! Mm -mm -mm. Someone good? <laughs> so much style. Wing, Hellcat, right here, Jackpot, GBB 2023 in Tokyo, Lava and Direct. Are you ready? <laughs> Keep that energy up. You already know what to do. I say the set. You say the duel in the Hana. In set. Hana. Let's go. Beatbox. <laughs> Dynamics. Okay. Ooh. Take the beat check. Ah. Take the beat check. Take the beat check. Ah, I love Take that. The check. Take the beat check. Let's go. They're taking the energy. Let's go. Ooh. Nice evolution. Yeah. Good crowd control. Wow, that sounds. It has a sub in it. Put your hands up. Wow. <laughs> Hip hop style of One Piece. We just get the fuck out. How can just get the fuck out? Wow, really hip hop this one. Nice. Let me guess it. <laughs> this is actually a sample from Godzilla. I learned this uh, recently. I didn't know um, this from from Godzilla, the the music. <laughs> I really and en I'm really enjoying this so far. Uh, I think they have a lot of switch, a lot of different things uh, going on. It's a lot of um, covers, from what I heard. The first in the intro. Uh, can't remember the name of the song, <laughs> but then they did the uh, bring the beat jackpot, <clears throat> and I really like this part because it's such a huge, um, such so much different from the intro. All of a sudden, you switch completely of the vibe, and it gives a lot of moment of surprises. Like it's really surprising when they they do it, which is really interesting. Then, of course, heavy drops, crowd control, and they start with the 
more hip hop sides of what they can do. And I, for now, they're sticking to the hip hop side, which I love. I really love. But um, yeah, really nice also transition into One Piece. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. Really impressive sound on the side of Wing. It's kind of a um, trumpet, but with a chest bass from what he told me. It sounds different though, but well, I don't know how I can make it sound so good. Also, because there is a kind of a not a sub, but you can feel something bassy behind it, which it's distorted a little bit. And I love this texture so much. It's really, really nice. Shout out to Wing for finding it. And then they start switching into even more hip hop stuff. So One Piece <laughs> in hip hop style. It's nice that they do covers, but at the same time, they always find a way to um, surprise us. Because when you do a cover, you know the song. So maybe it's not as surprising, but they still find a way to impress us and, and make us go, ah, oh, I wasn't expecting that, you know? So really well done until now. I love it. Yo, what's up, everybody? We jump up from South Korea. Make some fucking noise. Mm, I was right. Wow, the sound. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, remember base. Okay. Get the fuck up. Woo. Ah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Always find a way to surprise us. Nice. Another switch to another cover. Really nice transitions. That sub. Wow, the ending is amazing. So much energy. Oh, who's screaming like this? <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Super sick elimination. I really liked it. I love the transitions. Really, really nice transitions between all the covers. Maybe there is one creation when they do bring the beat jack. I think this is this might be their creation. Uh, except that I think they did covers only, but really well done first and super interesting the way they remixed the covers too. They did it in a non-usual way, so it's not only like you do the cover and you just yeah stick exactly to the original music. No, they did something super different each time with each cover they did and. It was amazing. I love that they ended um, with drum and bass, so the energy keeps uh, rising, basically. Start slow, then uh, start slow, then do some hip hop, more heavy hip hop, then maybe do a kind of a build up, the build up, and end with a lot of drum and bass, basically until the end. And the intensity keeps rising uh, from the moment they do drum and bass, basically, which is. Awesome, because it's a nice way to end an elimination, in my opinion. If you can finish the elimination at this level, it's perfect. It's perfect. It means you will, ha you will uh, have a lot of impact in, on people's mind. And 
will be remember your elimination a lot because of the intensity of it. And that's crazy. So, shout out to Jackpot. I really enjoyed the elimination. Super interesting one. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click on the subscribe and like buttons. And I'll see you in the next one. Arigato kozaimashita. Matane.